Uh, so, Randy, I hope you don't mind here, but I got to go to Mr. Paparazzi, Drew Amenda himself, who, who busted out the camera at a recent Sharks practice before the road trip continued. Drew, can you explain to us the video that we're about to see here and, and why it's important? It's Nico Sturm, and he does this after every practice. Randy and I have seen it at, at, after every game day skate, after every practice. He goes with one of the assistant coaches, turns the stick upside down, and he works on taking face-offs. He does that for a couple of reasons. One, for accuracy purposes. One thing that he did talk about, he started doing it when he was in Minnesota. He started talking about the fact that the referees don't drop the puck in the middle all the time. A lot of it depends on which side they're standing on. That's why you see him taking the face-offs from the coach who stands on both sides of the face-off dot. So you have to be really accurate. And the one thing now you can't, it's, it's hard to do is try to, because other guys will combat you and defensively, so you can't bring it in and turn it around. You've got to try different things. So he uses it to be accurate. And I think, Randy, what that does is it shows you Nico Sturm always trying to improve his game, perfect his craft. I, I got to ask you, Brownie, as a center, did you ever warm up like that or practice like that? Well, you know what they say about common sense? It's not so common anymore. I used the biggest part of the blade and tried to win it that way. I, maybe that's why I'm sitting next to Brazil yeah. now. I, uh, I didn't. I wasn't innovative enough. I don't know. I'm not sure he knew which side was the business. Uh, you know, end it, of occurred, this it occurred to me when we saw it for the first time. Why would you practice something that never happens in a game? But my partner explained same, it well. Same reason we practice three on O's in a game. Yeah. I mean, as you, or in practice. Well, the, for, the thing for me that I look at is you, you're always trying different ways. Like what is really impressive about. NHL athletes and we saw it from Joe Pavelski to Patrick Marlowe, Joe Thornton, Nico Sturm. Uh, we see it with Timo Meyer. We see it with every player that they stay out and they work on things in order to be better, in order to make make themselves better because this is a cruel league as Brett Hedekin has told you often. So you have to find a way to find something that you're really good at, get better at it so you can stick around longer. Drew, very resourceful of you to shoot that video, send it to us, have this conversation. Randy, have a great call with your partner tonight.